When Henry Caught Imaginitis by Nick Bland. Henry was a very serious boy. His room was always tidy and he always buttoned his shirt right to the top. Henry never daydreamed or played with toys. He preferred doing sums and straightening things that were wonky. Until one day, Henry had a thought that didn't make any sense at all. And before he could unthink it, Henry and his silly thought were sailing the seven seas. Henry was very confused. At supper, another silly thought jumped right out of Henry's head, so he slid under the table and wrestled with it. Henry's silly thoughts were getting bigger and bigger. He decided to read a book to make them go away once and for all. On the shelf he found the big book of sensible things. Perfect, he thought. The book was full of sensible ideas, like walking forwards is safer than walking backwards, never eating anything bigger than your head, and don't fly a rocket unless you're an astronaut. Henry was feeling much better. He hadn't had a silly thought for ages. He went up to the kitchen. He went to the kitchen and had a snack. He cleaned up the mess. And took out the rubbish. Henry knew something was terribly wrong with him, so he looked in the big book of sensible things for an answer. The book said, if your head is full of silly thoughts, you've caught imaginitis. Oh dear, thought Henry. The big book of sensible things said there was only one cure. Henry would have to grow up and that could take a very long time. Henry knew just what to do while he waited. He built a wonky castle fit for an imaginary king. But just until I grow up, he said. And that, Henry thought, was a very sensible idea. The end.